Hi everyone. I'm going to do a different kind of uh, pour today. Uh, I have right here a wood board and what I did was I put, I made some lettering. It says live in the moment and I have it positioned on the board and I'm going to pour over it and then I'm going to remove the letters when it's dry. Uh, I want to see what happens, see if I can turn these into uh, creative signs for my sign shop. And uh, we'll go from there. So right now I have an ecru painted board. The lettering that you see is vinyl lettering that I cut on my machine. And then I painted over it so that the, that the color won't seep underneath. The whole thing is dry, so what I'm going to do is mix my colors. I'm going to do a double pour, and uh, I'll mix my colors up. So when I pull the letters off, the light ecru color will be underneath it. So I want the pour to be pretty dark so that I can see the lettering through it. I will add some ecru to it, but um, for the most part, I'm going to do a darker darker effect see what we can do uh, okay here we go let me see um, if I start with let's see I haven't started with a dark color oops so we're gonna start with a dark color and that'll be our base then we're gonna put in another color another darker color and then we'll go with the gold I'd like a lot of gold in this one let's see what happens then maybe do the brown and then the Caribbean blue love that one and then a little bit of ecru just to give it a little shot. Okay. So then now I'll start layering a little bit. So we're just going to layer a little bit of the dark colors on top of the light colors. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. This is the kind of fun thing. That's why they're kind of happy accidents because you absolutely have no idea how it's going to be finished. Of course this may be way too much paint, but we're going to do. Now this is 11 by 11, so it's going to be fun. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm just going to take the end of a uh, pen, uh, paintbrush. I'm just going to drag across and the, what this does is just kind of mixes the paint slightly. And then I'm going to plump. I'm just going to turn it upside down and then uh, wait for it to settle and then pour. Ready? Here we go. Whoa! Silly me. Whoop, there we go. I think I need another stand under there. Okay, it's starting to come out already, so I just want to hold that down just so it doesn't all come out on me. But I'm liking what I'm seeing already. I just... This color combination is really cool. I like this. The one I did yesterday, this one, was, it made it. It's absolutely perfect. You see that? Look at that. Loving this. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then I don't know if I showed you, I did some little ones. And they're kind of cool. They can like go together or separate. Now just little teeny weeny uh, canvases. I made four of those. That's neat. So what I'm going to do is, when I get back from vacation, I'm going to put all these up online for sale on my Lynn's Artwork Etsy store. So, um, okay, let's see. I'm going to swing this way. Ready? Here we go. Meow. Yeah. Whoa. Alrighty. Holy moly, that's delicious looking. 
Okay, so same thing. We're just going to tilt, tilt and sway. Oh, I know. Let's fire. I didn't like it last time when I didn't fire because I didn't get the cells coming out because the paint has already started to um, have a surface on it. Holy cow. That's, that is awesome looking. All right. Let's do some movements. And what I'm kind of doing is going into big concentric, you know, pushing it into big concentric circles kind of thing so that when it does go over the edge, I'm not losing a lot of it. Holy mow. This looks awesome. Now again, the gold didn't come out as strong as I thought it would. And, uh, but I do have the deep colors that I was looking for. So that's kind of cool. Starting with the purple on the bottom, see how the purple is quite um, uh, showy here just gonna try and push this this way oh my gosh awesome all right I'm just gonna cover my sides okay oh that looks good all right let's see let's swing it this way Oh, maybe I did have enough paint after all. I may need a little more. Let's see, I'm gonna get my my little spatula here and drop in some more purple in this corner. I need to if I can get some more out of here. Dropping some turquoise. Some blue. A little brown maybe. Okay. Come on. There it comes. There we go. So I mentioned on another video, I'm going to have a class of this. I think this is amazing. I'm just so, as my friend says, I am completely hooked on this. So you can share in the hookness with me. Smooth it. Now I've got to get to the other side. That's kind of covered there. Just one more corner and then we're done. Not sure if it's going to move anymore. Okay, it's not going to move anymore. So I'm going to add a little bit of this color variance over here. Let's see if I can, oopsie, add some. some of this over here Put a little blue in it just to give it a okay Let's see if I can get that to there you go, go off the corner awesome okay what I'm gonna do is fix this so that it is not as blue. And what we do there, oh, that looks excellent. Is I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is just gonna use the end of this and I'm going to just tap into the color and just sort of create str 
trees and stuff and then I'm gonna pick up maybe pick up some of this multicolor stick it over here and you sort of blend it in that way that looks awesome oh we missed one over here let me check make sure the sides are done good good let me see the other side Wow. Oh, missed a whole piece here. Okay. All right. I'm just going to let that sit. Now, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to pull the um pull the color up. I mean, sorry, pull the uh um uh, lettering from underneath. But we'll see, because when it dries, it kind of settles down and uh, becomes a thinner layer. So you may be able to see underneath and I may be able to pull it off. But it was an experiment. I thought you'd like to see if it happened or not. But anyway, I will come back when it's dry and um, see if we can pull it off. But here it is. Here's the top for now. Look at all those cells. Oh my goodness. Now you can see the kind of swirly action I did, so that's that's kind of look at these. Wow. Hey, if it doesn't come up and I can't see the lettering, I'm kind of happy with the way it is. Excellent. Okay. That is really neat. All right, so um, I'm done for now. So I'll see you uh, next time, and hopefully it, I will have this done and ready to show you. All right, have a great day, guys. See you soon.